divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session one. Why has God made it possible for spirits to influence people on earth? Well, how can God allow that? Mm. I feel this is one of the most interesting questions. From God's perspective, there is no difference between a person who lives on earth and a person who lives in the spirit world. They are still a person. Mm -hmm. As a result, God created this ability for us to communicate. God wants us to know that we still exist even after our physical body dies. So God wanted us to do this. And so as a part of, the, of God's creation, the laws that govern God's universe, God created laws that govern rapport between people here on earth and in the spirit world. And these laws govern how people communicate, how we can talk to each other and listen to each other and actually experience each other. And God created these laws for very good reason. God wanted us to share with all of that knowledge that's gathered in the spirit world and to learn all of that knowledge before we pass from the spirit world to the spirit world from the earth mm -hmm. and as a result god's created these laws in order to educate us to give us a potential of education so people who have come before us can educate us about what's going to happen when we go when we <laughs> leave the earth here and go into the spirit world if they have a means to communicate but of course, that means that God is, is impartial. God does everything with equality. As a result, if God's going to open it for a good spirit, there also has to be an opening of communication for a bad spirit. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. You know, that obviously, the law would govern the communication ability and it would govern the communication ability for all people, whether they were malevolent or benevolent or anything in between. Mm -hmm. So God created these sets of laws that govern communication between us and also govern our seeing and our hearing and all sorts of things with regard to people that have passed from earth into the spirit world. And these laws are just standard laws that we can discover. They are like any other scientific law, like the law of aerodynamics or the law of gravity. They are laws that govern the communications between people that are in different dimensions and ourselves. And these laws were created specifically by God to give us this ability to grow and to listen to other people who have grown. And so it's a very loving provision, actually, that God has given us these things. Unfortunately, like all the laws that God has given us, they all also have a penalty for their, for, for their um, misuse. And, for example, we know the law of gravity has a lot of beneficial effects, but it has a penalty when we misuse it. And yes. the penalty is that we could even die if we misuse it, right? Yeah. The same goes with the law of aerodynamics. If we engage the law, you know, it has a great benefits to humankind, but if we misuse it, it can cause a lot of damage to humankind, including dropping bombs on people and murdering people and all sorts of things mm -hmm. can be incurred through the engagement of that law. The same applies with the law of communication and rapport between different dimensions. God's given us this law that we can use to communicate between the earth and other places in, in, the, in the other dimensional existences. But, but unfortunately, if we misuse it out of harmony and we use it out of harmony with love, then of course there are going to be consequences uh, upon us as a result of our using it out of harmony with love. And what we're seeing with regard to spirit influence is the results of those consequences of using the law of rapport, the law of communication between different dimensions out of harmony with love. Mm -hmm. And there are many, many, many spirits who wish to use this law out of harmony with love, just as there are many people on earth who wish to use the law out of harmony with love. And as a result of their using the law out of harmony with love, we have the negative consequences that come from any usage of, uh, that's out of harmony with love of any law. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we are always going to experience the pain and suffering of that. So it's interesting on earth at the moment, the pain and suffering is quite intense. There's a lot of mental illnesses, for example, that, are the direct use, that result from the direct use of these laws out of harmony with love, both for the patient where they've engaged something that's out of harmony with love and the spirit who's involved. 
there are many things that occur on the planet as a result of this law being used out of harmony with love. There are many religious teachings. There are many scientific ideas and principles and concepts that are being perpetrated on the planet today that are all coming from the spirit world, all from communications that have been out of harmony with love. Mm -hmm. But God allows them because God has a law involved that invokes all such things and also creates the consequence for all such things. So if a person uses the law out of harmony with love, there is an immediate consequence on their soul that they will either feel right now or if they're sensitive to it, they'll feel it right now. Or if they're not sensitive to it, they will definitely feel it at some point in their future when they do become more sensitive to it. And the reality is there are many spirits in the spirit world who are very sensitive to it and continue to use the law out of harmony with love while at the same time feeling an incredible amount of pain increasing as they continue to use the law out of harmony with love. Mm -hmm. So God has all these checks and balances in the law, but, uh, but there is this beautiful law that allows for the communication. And it's, it's a gift as well as a negative consequence if we choose to use the gift out of harmony with love. So you're saying really God allows it because it's a loving provision to of give course. us information. and I'm Any good parent would want to give information <laughs> from any person, wouldn't they? Yes, yeah. information about what happens when we pass and even yeah. the possibility of maintaining relationships after we lose totally. our physical body. If you, if you think of most of the intense grief that happens on this planet, a lot of it comes from the passing of our loved ones. Mm -hmm. If we could still communicate with them, still see them, still physically interact with them, then we would not be... Any, in any way traumatised by the death of a loved one. Yes. God gave this law so that we wouldn't have to be traumatised by the death of a loved one. Unfortunately, because we've misused the law, we often have many negative consequences, such as mental illnesses and other types of problems, physical disease and all sorts of problems that come about through the misuse of the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's, the, it's actually the, the breaking of the law or the use of the law with a lack of love in our heart that causes anything negative. And yes. if we engaged it positively, there would only be beautiful benefits. Exactly. It's like all of God's laws. They have a positive consequence if we engage them in a, in a loving manner. They have a negative consequence if we engage them in an unloving manner. Mm -hmm. The reality is there are many people on the planet today who engage the law of communication and rapport with spirit in a positive direction and so they receive many rewards as a result of that engagement then there are many people the majority in fact of people who engage the law in a very negative manner out of harmony with love and so they receive the consequence of the engagement in a negative direction this is a perfect feedback system that god has given us to show us when we're engaging it in the wrong direction so, so many people who experience illnesses and other things that are a result of psychotic episodes and behaviours are, are often influenced by spirits and they themselves are engaging the law in a negative direction and they need to become aware of that. And if we talk about how that happens and we investigate how that happens and we provide you know, true and also uh, scientific examples you know, that have been validated through scientific uh, experiments how that happens, then of course the majority of people would understand completely what's going on and therefore would not have as much fear about it and would not treat it as something that's unknown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.